Hi, my name is Ludas Butkus, and in this quick video, I want to do a tutorial how to stake your NEO and get gas. Gas is the cryptocurrency of the NEO network. So basically, if you have NEO, if you have bought NEO, the shares of the NEO company, you can stake them and get uh, gas for free. So, how much can you get? Is it worth it? Well, yes, it is. If you go to neo2gas.com and you enter the amount of NEO shares that you have and click calculate, you will get a table something like this one. So, how much gas can you get? There is the theory calculation and the actual calculation. Um, I will be using the actual calculation, though I don't know uh, how the calculation differs, what is the algorithm, what is the formula, but uh, using the actual calculation you are getting around 6% dividend per year. Well, if you compare this to the gains that you get from cryptocurrencies, it might not sound like a lot, but in the regular markets, if you buy shares of a company, getting a 6% dividend is pretty decent. Uh, so, just by staking NEO, you can get 6% yearly dividend in gas. Right now, the prices of NEO and gas have dropped dramatically after recent China news. So, I am expecting them to get back up. Uh, NEO was at around $50 and gas was uh, above 30 so when you're staking your NEO right now per year for 9 NEO I could get around 1 gas so that would be more than $10 now if the price of gas went back up to $30 uh, everything would change and I would be getting a 3 times greater return now it is hard to predict how the prices will go up and down, but right now um, it would not be worth, in my opinion, to sell your gas when you're staking it. It would be wiser to hold it for the long term and sell it once the price recovers. So overall, within a year I could get a single gas token, which is quite nice considering that you don't need to do anything. So how do you get started? Well, let's go to neo.org and you will need to download a wallet. Click download. You will need to transfer uh, your NEO if you bought it on Binance or Bittrex. You will need to transfer them to your wallet if you want to start staking and start generating gas. Uh, the wallet that I used was Neon and I do recommend to use it because it is a light client meaning you don't need to synchronize the whole network which can take a very long time and a lot of computer resources so if you want to use that click download you will get to a github page like this one uh, there might be a new release when you're watching this. Always pick the new release because it will have all the major new bug fixes, etc. If you scroll down, you will see the downloads. And here you can see several of them. You can see the source code if you're interested. Uh, but usually you will pick uh, by the platform that you're using. If you're using Windows, you pick this one, Mac. Linux etc. So I'm using Windows and I would click this and download it and use it. So I will leave you at that and once you have downloaded it uh, you will land on a wallet like this one. You will need to create a wallet you will get your passphrase and your private keys. Um, be sure to make copies of them to not lose it because if you lose them you will lose access 
to your wallet and to your money. So this is how it looks like. This right here, you will have your own public address where you will need to send your NEO tokens, NEO shares. Once you have your NEO shares in your wallet, you will see this um, button over here. It's, it changes the number uh, every second or so. I think the block reward time on NEO is 15 seconds. So if we refresh this, we can see it should uh, add more gas. Right now, not sure why it's not increasing because it was it was doing that recently. Okay, that's strange, but overall, you're getting that gas, and once you claim it. You once once you click it, uh, I do recommend to wait for uh, for a little bit to claim it, uh, for it to collect a little more. Uh, you don't need to have the wallet opened; uh, it's it's all working automatically. You just need to have your Neo in your wallet, and you will be passively generating gas. Um, so this is basically it and as you can see the numbers updated and if we go again no so yeah they did update and that works continuously even when you shut it down so it's very simple very easy if you are holding your neo in an exchange uh, it's not secure uh, you might lose your NEO, you, the exchange can get shut down, etc. So it's much better to just send it to your own private wallet. And you also get gas, which is basically free money. So this is it for this quick tutorial. Hope it helped and I will see you in the next video.